Okay, so first thing we're going to do is familiarise ourselves with the Fireworks programme. On your slide that you've downloaded from Google Drive, you will need to label the different elements that I'm pointing out to you now. So the first thing I want you to label is your canvas or your work area, which at the moment mine is called Untitled One. If I added something to this canvas or this work area and then saved it, uh, I might save it as navigation bar for example, when this box opens up it would say navigation bar at the top or whatever I've saved it as. So this central panel in the middle is your canvas or your work area, that's where your page essentially where you can see what you're doing. Across the top here, like every single computer program you've used, you've got your menu bar. Down the side here, this is very important in Fireworks, you've got your tools panel. Now if you hold your cursor over one of those tools and just leave it for a second, it will come up with the name of the tool. So if we are doing a piece of work on Fireworks and I ask you for example to use the lasso tool, you will need to remember that that Fireworks tells you what each tool is. If you can't remember what it looks like, hold your mouse over and it will tell you. Any of these little tools that have got those tiny little black triangles next to them, it means that there's more than one tool in that box, if you like. So in the lasso box, if I click on that little arrow, it tells me that there's the lasso tool and the polygon lasso, lasso tool. The difference is, obviously, the lasso one is just a circle. The polygon lasso is straight lines, basically. So again, there's another one here. When I hold my mouse down, it tells me that there's a few different tools within that box. Importantly, on Fireworks, your tools are split up. Here, at the top, you've got your selection tools. That allows you to select different elements of your image or your work and move them around. Bitmap allows you to work on bitmap images. Vector allows you to work on vector images. Web allows you to work on web images. Colours is for all different types of images or text. And then obviously the, the different kind of view that you want to look at your work. That allows you just to view it in different modes. Down here at the bottom, you've got a little panel that says properties. Now, let's imagine I was going to put some text on this. So I've dropped some text on there. My properties panel gives me lots of options basically. I can change the kind of text I'm using. I can change uh, whether it's bold or italic underline, the size, the colour, all those different kinds of things. So that is what the properties allows you to do down here at the bottom. Now on this side you've got something called the panel dock. Now this shows you a number of different things. The first thing up here, as you can see, this is, this is highlighted. So this is showing me the different layers. So these are the different layers that I've created within my image. So my text is one layer. If I added another layer of text here, you would see it comes up as another layer. So these are essentially different elements within your work and you can move those and change them around and do different things with them. They're all individual bits basically. Down the bottom here you've got styles, so if you add a style to it, a filter, it tells you down here, your colour palette, you can change the colours, but you can also do that in the properties box. Key, key thing to remember is that everything is a layer. So when you want to move something, you need to imagine it as its own individual separate layer. So I've moved that one. Now I want to move this one, so I need to make sure that that one's highlighted on my layers panel, and then I'm moving that. So it's important that you that you understand that. 